Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you Max O oh Sweetie collection. This collection consists of a new lip product. Um, there are 15 shades of this new product. It is currently available both in stores and online to purchase. The description says, satisfy your sweet tooth. Join influencer and high fashion sweetheart Caro Dor. I have no idea who that is, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly to indulge in a new patisserie fresh saturated and scented lip color. This whipped mousse-like lip color serves up funfetti bright frosted opaque hues for lips. And I do believe this is limited edition, so I don't think that this formula is a permanent addition to Max line. So as I said, this new lip formula comes in 15 shades. I will swatch all 15 of these for you and I will also have swatches of them applied to the lips available. Make sure you see the description box below to see a full written review after I test these out over several days, and if you want to see uh, larger photos of what the colors look like applied to the lips. Please make sure that you check out the MAC Aaliyah collection swatches and review video, and of course all the other videos um, that are going to be published and have been published recently, including a lot of drugstore videos. So here's an example of the shade um, to see the packaging. There are little funfetti sprinkles on the outside, so not typical of MAC. It's like very playful packaging, um, and the doe-footed applicators look like this with a slight slant to them. So this first shade here is called Funfetti Cake. Second is Sugar Cookies. Third is Coconut Macaroon. Fourth is Strawberry Mousse. Fifth is Banana Muffins. Sixth is Creamy Peach Pie. Seventh is Purple Panna Cotta. Eighth is Raspberry Cream. Ninth is Raspberry Pavlova. Tenth is Gumdrop. Eleventh is Strawberry Tort. Twelfth is Caramel Sugar. Thirteenth is Death by Chocolate. Fourteenth is Key Lime Trifle. And fifteenth is Wild Berry Frosting. All right, let's see if we can fit all these on one arm here. Let's start with Fun Fetty Cake. This is a White Frost with Multicolor Pearl. Sugar Cookies is an opalescent pink. Coconut Macaroon is a pinky beige. Strawberry Mousse is a Barbie pink. Banana Muffins is an orange. Creamy Peach Pie is a watermelon pink with pink pearl. Purple panna cotta is a lilac. Raspberry cream is a fuchsia with blue pearl. This has a very subtle like duochrome sheen to it. Raspberry pablova is a bright fuchsia. Gumdrop is an intense pink with reflex, like gold flex in it. Strawberry Tort is a bright candy apple red. Caramel Sugar is a chocolate brown metallic shade. Death by Chocolate 
this metallic burgundy, key lime trifle, it's a bright chartreuse, and wild berry frosting is a cotton candy blue. All right, so here is the whole range of 15 shades, and we can look at these up close. All very vibrant, pigmented colors here, and they seem to stay glossy on the surface. There's not a complete dry down. There is a bit of a dry down. You can see the difference between the first color that we swatched there versus the ones that are newer swatches, but it's not a complete like matte um, liquid lip type of finish. All right, there is Max O oh Sweetie collection. I don't know if I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but these retail for $17.50 each. Something I didn't mention while I was swatching is that these definitely have fragrances added to them. You can smell them right away. But what I realized after swatching the first few shades is that the fragrance is different for each of them. And it seems like the fragrance that's been added is meant to match the color. So for example, that last shade, the cotton candy shade, smells more like cotton candy, whereas the death by chocolate shade smells more like chocolate, etc., etc., which I absolutely applaud Mac for. I mean, that's adventurous in terms of getting all of those fragrances together and to have it be 15 different fragrances to match these lip glosses. I really like that. Um, in general, I don't particularly like fragrance added to my beauty products. Um, I'm least concerned about lip products and that makes more, most sense to me if you're gonna add a fragrance to at least put it in the lip product because you can, I guess, kind of associate it with something that you would eat anyway. But um, if you're gonna have a fragrance, then it's really cool that they have changed it to match each of the shades. So that's that. In terms of the formula, I mean, it's not the kind of formula that's gonna be transfer proof or dry down all the way. It's also not like a lip gloss where it's totally um, kind of wet and slick and really transfer prone, it seems to be kind of a formula that's somewhere in between. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of these. Have you tried them out? Do you like certain colors? Do you like that the fragrances are different, etc.? I hope this video was helpful to you if you were curious about these, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.